Let's do this. Hi! Welcome to Maria Uncorked. And I'm here today with my brother-in-law, Alex. Hi. And we are on the mission. Well, we really are already uncorked. But today, Alex is surprising his wife. It's not Valentine's Day. She is overwhelmed, exhausted, and about to beat herself in the head, if not him and the children. So he's I'm, I'm getting pretty close. Yeah. yeah. So he's, she's going to make him a surprise dinner. And this is what we did. Did you see yep. this? Loins, loins in my pants, loins on the pork. Boom, ready for dinner. We went Let's for go. Spanish. Do you see this? Hey. Spanish theme tonight. Romance. Yep. We got pork, peppers, sauce, potatoes. Breads, and you can do it at home in a half an hour. No, the longer to marinate, the better. But you basically make the meat, the sauce, add a starch, add a vegetable, and dinner's done. And you can do this in a half an hour. So yep. let's go show them how we do it. Uh, ready? Let's, do it. let's go. Alex. Maria. Are you ready to surprise your wife with a remarkable Spanish inspired piece of large tenderloin? Large tenderloin. And okay. I know your your wife likes it thick, spicy, long, long spicy. and tender just inside. So we're going to season this to perfection for All her. Right. So number one, when you're cooking meat of any sort, like beef tenderloin, pork tenderloin, you want to get it to room temperature before you cook it. Right. We're not cooking it yet. <clears throat> we're going to season it first. Okay. So when seasoning, the longer the meat has to sit in the seasoning, the more flavorful it will be. Uh, we're going to use salt, kosher salt, coriander, cumin, and smoked paprika, and some garlic for tonight because we're doing like a Spanish flavors. Okay. Uh, 20 minutes is the absolute minimum, and I, if you can do it longer, that'd be better. So if you're going to, in the morning, you know, like, I'm going to surprise her tonight, put it in, in season the meat in the up. morning, set it up, put it in a Ziploc, put it in the fridge, and then when you come home and she's out going for a run or taking a bath, boom, you surprise her with dinner. We've got a pork tenderloin. It's rinsed and trimmed. Mm -hmm. I, like, I know your wife prefers it trimmed. So I do too. So, <laughs> it's true. It's so true. So go ahead and take that baby out. Mm-hmm. And we're going to season it. Salt and some, pepper. I've got first I got some kosher salt. Let's do some the smoke paprika. A little smoke paprika. So that's actually not spicy. It's got a little hint of smokiness to it versus regular paprika. Mm -hmm. Now, if mm -hmm. you want some spice to it, you can add some cayenne, a little pinch of chili powder, or mm. ancho. But I think we're going to keep it just smoking I, a little think, bit. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. I like that. Oh, that's pretty too. I'm like, oh my god, I can smell it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> it's a well seasoned, She's well seasoned loin right there. So I always like to. Roast a bunch of cloves of garlic, uh, bulbs of garlic, uh -huh. and then I pop them out in olive oil, like right here. Yeah. And then you can just macerate them in your hands. Right here, see that? Mm. It comes out like this, and then you don't have to do anything. It just it's there on the plate. So we're going to go ahead and mash those with your hands and massage those. <laughs> oh, it's yes. rough. Just give the old rub, man. Let's get some oils in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, the massage Everyone oils. loves the massage oils. Go on. Okay. All right, so Alex, you've now seasoned and marinated this pork loin mm -hmm. in like five minutes. Yeah. So you can yeah. technically do it at any point in the day. Right. Uh, we've got probably uh, 20 minutes until you're, until Whitney gets back. Drink so some wine. Smoke drink some wine. <laughs> and we're going to also make, make a sauce. Oh, for Let's the make meat. make a sauce. Yes. So we're going right. to go get some fresh peppers from the garden. Okay. That's over, over there. Here. That way. Uh -huh. yep. yep. We're going to show everybody how to make this super fast, delicious sauce. And then you're going to have a surprise romantic Spanish dinner. 
play some music while her, get some candles. Yes. That was a lovely experience gardening with oh, you. So nice out oh, there in look, the garden. We found some Magic lovely garden. roasted red peppers in our garden uh -huh. that magically appear in this jar. <laughs> so we don't have to peel them. Fabulous. Fabulous. That. Fabulous. So we're going to make a, it's a roasted red pepper sauce. Oh. Andale, come on. I got olive oil in my hands. I just peeled garlic. Uh -huh. Okay, you're done. Uh -huh. It's on you. Done. Look at that. It's that manly, you say, well, manly you strength. Gotta, gotta, let, gotta let my wife see that. You know? Okay, so let's drain some of the liquid from there. All right. You All would right. like to use an equivalent of about two peppers. Uno. So you got about two in there? That's about yeah, two peppers in there. About, yeah, let's see here. Come on now. Yeah, it's three peppers. All right, perfect. Okay, done. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna pour some olive oil. I would do. Let's blend this up and then see, do I want more heat, do I want more smoke? I'm a big fan of season to taste. and see what we want to add to it. Okay. Oh, that's really good. I think we nailed it. I think we nailed it too. We're going stove top yes. with the pork here? This one, actually this one right here. I go... How do you know? You need I know, because I, I live here. You live but here. medium high. Okay, so medium, medium high. high. Do we need the grill hot? That's going to be to grill some bread. Oh, So right. this dish, Sorry. this delicious pork loin dish we're having with this Roasted red pepper sauce pairs really well with potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can also do it with rice, but I highly recommend potatoes of any sort. And then we're gonna do a vegetable. We're doing a simple Spanish salad tonight. You could do okay. asparagus and the steamed vegetable. Um, it's, but it's a really easy dinner to make. Right. So it's just pork loin, some potatoes, potatoes and like bread, and um, the veggie. Like most Latin and Spaniards, mm -hmm. bread is a critical part of our uh, meal. Mm -hmm. And I have a garlic Tuscan loaf. Mm. I know we're doing Spanish, but this is a really, really good bread. So we're gonna do why oh, the meat is cooking. Yeah. yeah. It's got roasted garlic in it. It's kind of the so same. So we'll slice thing. it, oil it, grill it. On that on that in, on awesome. that flat grill right there. Awesome. Should I put some oil in this while it's heating up? Yes. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil, all right. I will get you a, a basing brush. Okay. Oh, not that. That's not, not that. it. And a little olive oil pouring dish to. Okay, this is base. smelling hot to me. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna yeah. do the we're gonna do the test. Um, I always do a test. Klaus, Water the, test. Yes. Don't yeah. don't ruin it with wine. Um, are you ready? Do you have any more wine for being uncorked here? We of course. Uh -huh. It's called uncorked for a reason. Uh huh. Maria, uncork, uncork me, please. How about some Sancerre? Sure. Oh, it's coming out. Porking? Yes, get a nice crust on it. When you see that sizzle, see that, hear, hear that? And see. You hear the sizzle? Hot. Mm -hmm. Sizzling hot, put the baby in. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. My marinated loins. We have, a, we have a hungry pup here. It's like, I smell some good stuff right now. It is. Okay, so uh, when you're cooking the meat, huh? we're going to let it three or four minutes get a nice sear on it. Okay. And uh -huh. we're going to keep it at like a like seven or eight, depending on your huh. medium high. Now, depending on your stove, if it's crappy or not, uh, you do it accordingly. But you want to get a nice crust, some uh, sear marks on it. Then you're going to flip it. Uh huh. Then you'll flip it aside again, and then we'll reduce it to low. Okay. And you'll do, well, we have a thermometer to test it, but you can also do like the finger test is it like. Oh yeah, like how. Tender. Yeah. You don't want it to be pink, like too pink. You don't want it to be. Uh, yeah, like pork you don't want it to be. It is, but you don't want it to be cooked either fully because it's going to keep cooking when you turn the stove off. Okay. All right, so mm -hmm. we'll do three to four minutes each side, and that should, 12 minutes usually gets a pretty good. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to do this. No, that's not we're going to wait. Well, that's not even on. So, no. yes. This one we're going to turn on, but we're not going to get it high yet because once this is on the last three minutes, 
Then that we'll start going bread. Okay. okay. Talk, get out here. And turn know. that off. Let's keep rotating. All right, we're filming. We're good. We're good to go. We're hot. Okay, so we're probably checking this other side. Yeah, let's uh, do the side. Oh, yeah. what is that? Okay, you want a little bit more or keep going? No, I think you're good. Think, all right, we're I'll on the side. Right? Yeah. Because I like that sear. Because we're still, we're still running medium high here. Yeah. Okay. We're, I just turned it down to medium low. All right. So in a few minutes, we can turn it down to um, we'll add the liquid. Why are we going to add liquid just to like. So, because. We have some of the remains of the, the, the garlic and the seasoning in there. Right. And it's going to burn, crust and burn. And we don't want to burn the, the pork and get that, uh, like that the carcinogenic. Acrid, okay, yeah, like, the acrid burn taste. Yeah, yeah. You don't want, so see, look, everything's nice and crusty here. Mm -hmm. We got the color we want on all sides, the crusty one, on all sides here. But we can see that this is starting to uh, it's char here. Oh, stick and char. Yeah, here. so we're going to get rid of that. Just get rid of the solid, the garlic the, and the, stuff. Exactly. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, you hear that sizzle? It's so nice. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cover this else. baby up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to not completely cover it. Okay. But I want to keep it at medium low right so now. So we're going to let some steam out. Yes, because okay. I don't want it to steam it. Oh, yeah, I right. like that. I just want it, the heat to stay in there. And cook it and then we'll check it um this i would turn this yeah here and let's get a platter to put these lovely pieces of bread on sorry klaus that is not for you really this is mine right up. there that's i love that that's, yeah, i this like is, this this is perfect that's man. perfect uh. Chef. Oh my god, look at that bread. Woo. Look at that. Woo. Okay, that means that one's a little too much. That's, that's okay. Fine. That's but the fine. rest looks perfect. I think this means our our pork's pork done. Be so we're gonna stick it in the thickest part of the meat. Uh -huh. Okay. I know you like the thick meat. I do like it thick. The thickest part of the meat. So unlike again, yeah, like unlike beef where you can trim. This loin in particular, Jeff, has a shape to it. Very uh -huh. familiar. Uh-huh. How do you know what that shape was from Alex, I thought, I'll, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's all in the family. It's probably the love. Only I thought only, I was the only one that curved it right a little. <laughs> curved bit. that way a little bit. All right, it's one sixty. Perfect. Boom. So we're done. Hit it. So we're gonna turn it off. Pull the baby out. I'm gonna cover it a little bit so it's not all the way, so it stays warm. Uh huh. I'm gonna take it off the heat. Okay, let it rest. We want it to fully cook, so we're just gonna okay. let it rest a little bit. Our bread's we're gonna grilled. All, we're gonna get our salad composed. The table set, and then we're gonna serve dinner. All right. We're ready. It's my smoke show wow. of life. Oh my gosh. I just got back from the store. This is crazy. Did you Made all this for you. Yep. All With yourself? Maria, we got papas, we got pork, we got bread, we got salad, wow. and I'm going to pour you some wine. Let's see what oh you think. Oh my gosh, yeah, the wine. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This looks amazing. You made this all yourself? Yeah. Well, with Maria's help. Oh, thanks. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to learn more about cooking or handling large tender meat or Spanish foods, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you next week.